Can you drink your own pee out of a life straw? Listen, if you want to drink your piss, do it. All right? We're sick of you talking about it. I don't want to. I don't want to at all. I'm sick of you talking about it. How do we know? We don't. We don't. I don't believe anything. At all. How could you? But I also believe everything. How could you not? <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's a wild time right now. It really is. So Andrew in Florida, what's going on, Andrew? Hey, so I just wanted to talk about the Marlins and Pirates yesterday. All right, sorry. Let's <laughs> go to Tyler in Arizona. When they, like, pulled the plug on the movie, which was just, like, heartbreaking, it kind of knocked us on our ass. So uh, we kind of sat back and we're, we were all geared up. We were going to start shooting the movie in five weeks, and then they just pulled the plug on us. And, and we suddenly weren't shooting that movie. It's a huge hole in our schedule. Uh, so we're regrouping now and trying to figure out the next thing. But, yeah, I mean, we, I love those guys. So we're going we're gonna to try to work together for the rest of our lives. Did you I not- hope to be, like, really old, really old people still trying to talk about our buttholes. <laughs> Nice. Hey, I hope you guys are too, man. Yeah, that'd yeah, be cool. Because you know, I'd be hey, really don't old. We all, don't we all wish that? Yeah, I'd be really <laughs> old. You guys be talking about your buttholes. I'd probably be like, that's similar to my butthole. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, because I'll be yeah. about the same age. That I think that chemistry you guys have together is what makes it obviously so incredible. Five weeks before shooting, they pulled the plug. Did you guys, I mean, let the, uh, like, fuck these people? What was the, I mean, that's a tough. Yeah, that, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that was the, yeah. the main uh, sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> so at the beginning of this entire tournament, I said, no offense to the College World Series. I assume you guys are going to be great. Yeah. There is zero chance I'll watch this fucking thing ever because I don't watch the MLB. So I just assumed college would be worse than the MLB. It was awesome. Watching those games was fun. It felt like every single pitch mattered. It felt like there was actual momentum and feelings and vibes. And obviously the crowds have been going bananas the entire time. But I like the vibes. I like the energy. I like the tourney. And I like the fact that LSU seems to be a fucking wagon in sports. Nick Saban is on a run of awesome right now. He's in the virtual reality Oculus fucking boxing people. Crushing. This is from his daughter. Oh. Not a bad little combo there. Now, a guy kind of got on top of him. Kind of started him a little bit, but he's like, yeah. Alright. Oh, So then we see another video coming out of the house. This guy's doing the electric slide in his fucking yeah. living room, dude. Wait. Hey. Living. Uh-huh. uh-huh. It's electric. We got a five-star wide receiver recruit who is committed to Alabama. A lot of schools try to recruit against Alabama by saying Nick Saban's getting older, he's going to retire. You're a 25 guy, and it's a couple years off. What what does he say to you about that? Uh, He said, well, we've talked about that, of course, but uh, he he said he's going to be coaching until he croaks over. I don't think Saban's going to ever give it up. He's unbelievable. Their team's great. He probably wants to win another five national championships before he's done. I fucking love this dude. Did you see what Nick Chubb was doing in the weight room? 610 pounds on a absolutely metal bar that is not supposed to bend this way. ESPN (laughs) NFL commented, you know it's heavy when you make the bar bend like that. I think there were some people confused about the potential bar that he was using. Nonetheless, 610 pounds on a stability squat bar up and down what a dog and there was a lot of reaction this morning oh, oh my god <laughs> how's he doing that the nfl community lost a guy who i got a chance to hang out with mm-hmm. a couple different times and have some beer with and uh was incredibly kind and i think everybody that was posting about him last night and obviously whenever somebody passes away that is kind of a perspective putting moment for everybody where you start examining your life your thoughts your grudges your everything and then obviously you think back to the time that you had with the person that passed away i think that happens to public figures i think it happens to friends i think that happens to family especially when somebody's 35 years old and they pass so getting a chance to kind of hear everything that was said about ryan mallet yesterday from everybody like echoed the same exact sentence that I had. I was a fan of his. Uh, he was the number one recruit coming out of high school. Goes to Michigan. Rich Rodriguez goes up to Michigan. He says, I don't think it's for me, dog. But Pat <laughs> yeah. White was doing what he was doing with Steve Slayton. So he goes to Arkansas. Has to sit a year because back then if players transferred, they had to sit a year. Coaches transfer, they can coach immediately. Sure. Now, not saying there was any hypocritical anything going no, on at all. And the NCAA did that. But he sat out a year. He's an Arkansas legend from there. And I got a chance to meet him fucking cool 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 dude like incredibly kind he's so fucking tall and we're in arkansas so everybody knew who he was was nice to everybody dapped up everybody and i believe 
he and John Daly might have even sang a song together that Ooh. particular evening. So it was cool to kind of meet him and know him. It was cool to see the reaction that he drew from everybody that he had met in his life. And uh, it was obviously a moment where we all thought to ourselves, a dude who was in the NFL for seven years, was in incredible shape, seemingly good guy, mm -hmm. had good times, yeah. died at the age of 35, drowning in a riptide. Mm -hmm. And I assume that nobody thought whenever they went to the beach yesterday and got in the ocean, that they were gonna come back with one less person. Mm -hmm. So remember that whenever you wake up, that you had a chance to wake up. Like, I think we all kind of need these types of things to happen because when these things happen, it kind of opens our eyes a bit to uh, the, you know, the petty bullshit or the negative thoughts about something or the negative mood about having to do something. It's like, you get to do something. Let's right. remember that. Yeah. And let's try to enjoy every fucking day. And not every day is great. I know that there's going to be times where life kicks you right in the balls. And I know there's going to be decisions that are completely out of your control that are going to halt you and slow you down and affect your life. But let's remember, if you can't control it, who gives a fuck? Yep. Right. Let's keep it moving. So Ryan Mallett, rest in peace, buddy. Rest easy. Seemingly done good with your life, mm -hmm. with everybody that you met. And also, thank you for reminding us, like, this could all be gone at any time. You know that I went to Undertaker's house? <laughs> I'm building this gym. The people that are putting the gym together are like, do you want this piece of equipment? And I go, I don't know. I've never used that. Is there any way I could try it before I say I want to buy it? And they go, you know what? We have a client. So you go to his house. He'll let you try it. So then they send me this group text and they go, hey, Tom, this is Mark. He has the equipment. You can go to his house and then try it out. And I was like, what's up, Mark? Is Thursday cool? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. Come on by. And then the guy from the gym goes, hey, just so you know, Mark is the undertaker. And I go, do you want to <laughs> fucking lead with that? <laughs> I drive out to this address and I see this fucking gorilla walks out from under this thing and he just waves over he's like hey over here and I was like what's up Mark <laughs> and he goes hi it is an absolute pleasure to meet you and I was like are you sure and he's like yeah he is the nicest dude that I have ever met yeah. what's up hey did you tell your dad that I fucking love him there we go I like that <laughs> 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 I took this, by the way, this is one of the highlights of my life. I, this, a friend of mine is, is the person who, who went up to Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I went up to Pac-Man and asked for an autograph after a, a, a game, a loss. A loss. That was definitely not his fault, but it was, um, it was a loss. And, uh, and he had the best, the best story about, um, <laughs> about asking Pac-Man for an autograph in the, uh, and then he said, my dad loves you. Eventually he told you my dad. And then you said, T tell that motherfucker I appreciate him. <laughs> and that, and the people, people, you don't understand, man. I go, I go to like uh, the airport bar and I'll be like, yeah, can I get a, a, a beer? And they go, sure. And then they put the beer and they're like, hey, motherfucker, I appreciate you. I'm like, what? <laughs> and they're like, it's Pac-Man. <laughs> still reference Pac-Man all the time. Yeah, I remember that story. He was in the tunnel, I think, right? As mm -hmm. you're leaving after a loss, somebody asks you for an autograph from this person's standpoint. Yeah. And obviously people have never lied about interactions with people before. But never. Never. Uh, that has never happened. Never. In this particular case, never. what did you say whenever, what did he say whenever the uh, asked initially for the... I said, no, I was like, fuck no, we just lost it. Then he said something about his dad said I was his favorite player and I was like tell the motherfucker I said thank you yeah <laughs> super <laughs> mad super mad but grateful you know that, that's the depth yeah. that you could potentially go there I would invest but I don't want to be the guy that have to worry about everything like if I can say alright what's this lineup you got boom 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 I can agree to that oh, you want to be a consultant yeah. ah. but, okay that's smart that's a good play it's a lot of work doing. we're all trying to get to the consultant phase of anything yeah. AJ aren't we aren't we trying to become consultants for everything I would love to be a consultant. I'd like to be paid to be on some boards of big companies. Mm -hmm. That'd be amazing. Hell yeah. I didn't even think about that phase of life. Yeah, That's going to come oh, at yeah. some point probably. Yeah, yeah boards. Oh, boards. I want to yeah. be on a board. Hell yeah. Oh, I got to fly in once a year and sit in a meeting. And you can pay me some cash. Yeah, like Lord. What's that? Lord. Yeah, Lord how? Lord. <laughs> I only Lord. think I'm saying I didn't Lord? see no the singer. The singer? No, Lord. I'm no. talking about the, the, Lo the Lord. Dude. Yeah. She's Lord? Australian. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's also on a board. No, Lord. The new NFLPA president. Oh, Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. he's, a we got it. he's a consulting firm, the biggest consulting yeah. firm. Yeah. 
And also, um, he sits on GE Healthcare's board. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's going to be able to get that figured out, AJ. AQ. Yeah. The AQI. Why, what's this doing to the AQ name, and why is it happening the way it is? Air quality index. Isn't that what it means? Yes. Yeah, Bingo. But... Nailed it. All right. Thank you, AQ. <laughs> Thank you. Thank good you, to see you. Good to see you, AQ. That was really good. Can you drink your own pee out of a life straw? You don't, you don't need have to. You have water. water. Yeah, I'm sure the as hell water. can. Listen, if you want to drink your piss, do it. All right? We're sick of you talking about I don't want to. It. I don't want to at all. I'm, I'm sick just of saying, you talking I'm, about it. You do I want to see if someone drinks their own pee out of one of those life straws, if it works. It does. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. There's people that actually shoot it up, and then they just... Yep. Down into the Catch it to the tip of their little donger, and then they just drink it right out of there? No, they shoot it up, and then they're... Yeah, they piss oh, straight up. Catch it in that. That's way more impressive. Get on the plane, land. My buddy calls me and he said, you're an idiot. And I said, what's up? He goes, you shot 83. You miscounted on the front. I said, no, I didn't. I shot 82. He said, you shot 83. FaceTimed me. And he was like, five and four, nine. Five and five, 19. Three. And I go, 21. He goes, 22, 22. idiot. Oh. So just what? Like one of those things <laughs> like... Hmm. 19 and 3, 21. Like, that's just how you. Uh -huh. 5, 5, 10, 2, 2, 4, 10, 10, 20, 19, 3, 21. How, how is that even, like, that's your net? Because you did it on the course, obviously, with the scorecard, and you also did it in the plane. Mm. So your brain has just always thought 19 plus 3 is 21. That's like a little cheat code for you? No, I didn't do it on the plane. I did it, like, at lunch right after, right? Like, kind of when I texted you or FaceTimed you or called you whatever, and then didn't do it until he called me mm. and told oh. me, like, you miscounted. The locker room, that will cost him another 2000 Yeah, I got to get taxed for yeah, that. Yeah, you got to get taxed. At least. He know. Because he, huh? he, he, he even did the... I mean... I'll, did, I'll tell you what. you really think that I purposely said 82, but also put the evidence on social <laughs> media to disprove that? Interesting. Well, kinda, I think what I you know. did is a good case study about how <laughs> if you write the right narrative in the caption, True. the actual image and things do Doesn't not matter. Don't matter. <laughs> do not matter because I... And and that happens internet. us. That yeah, happens us a lot. Internet, mm -hmm. come on. On the internet, it'll always matter. Now, it was supposed to be a thousand dollar donation. Yeah. Right? Got to tax you for lying. Yep. Yeah. It's twenty five hundred. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then yeah. since it's like the way it is, and he called her high school yeah. prune. Like, Took a victory lap. Yep. The, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Came on. Sorry about it. Yeah. Just the <laughs> whole victory lap <laughs> thing. Right? And then he did the three out of ten. Hey, just want to let you know. Yeah. It was only a three out of ten on Which hardness. Also, add normally add a hardness. So holes under five thousand dollar donation. You make it right. <laughs> And we just kind of. He's got to kind of wear that one. Yeah. Sorry, Dan. Yeah. Sorry, Dan. Sorry, Dan. That's what's happening. You got to care about the kids? First kids. tee, dude. First yeah. tee.